Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. I thought today I would do a video about my Chihuahua. I don't know if you can see her, she's sitting here on my lap, she's kind of tiny. This is Gypsy Girl. Um, so her name is Gypsy. She is a long-haired Chihuahua and she is about two, two and a half years old. Yeah, she's about two and a half. I got her from a breeder. I know everybody's probably going to uh, preach uh, adopt, don't shop. I have adopted dogs in the past, um, but the thing is with adopting, you don't always know their backgrounds, where they come from, what kind of issues they might have, and or to find smaller dogs, designer dogs, I guess, they you don't find them as often in shelters and stuff. So I am all for buying what you want, uh, and I'm also all for adopting when you can. That's sort of my motto. Anyways, um, so I bought her from a breeder. She was about, I think she was $600. Yeah, she was $600, which is kind of a good price, I guess, because if you go to a pet store for a Chihuahua, they like, they could be as much as $2,000, which is craziness. Like I would never pay $2,000 for a dog ever. Yeah, so I got her from a breeder. She was just like, a, it, I got her from a little old, an older couple. Uh, they bred Chihuahuas. So I got her from her, from them. And she is obviously beautiful. <laughs> I think she's beautiful. I love her long hair. I love her look. She's super adorable. So I'll give you guys a little bit of information about her. These are just some of the questions that I get asked uh, when I'm out walking with her and stuff like that. Obviously, Chihuahuas sort of get a bad name for being like yappy and hyper and aggressive. I don't find this to be true with small dogs. I think um, it can be, but it's not always the case with my small dogs that I've ever had. They've been pretty like docile temperaments. They've been maybe more scared a little bit, more not but not aggressive. So they're just sort of like, in my experience, Gypsy anyways, she's just more shy than anything else. She's shy and sometimes she gets a little scared, but she's most of the time just shy. She's very lovable, very cuddly. She's a real lap dog, which little dogs usually are. That's what their purpose is. They're lap dogs. So yeah. Poor Chihuahuas get a bad name, but my experience with them, not the case. My mom's Chihuahua, he is more of a true, tired and true Chihuahua. He's more yappy and he's like, he thinks he's a big dog, but he's actually three pounds in reality. Anyway, so Gypsy is very, very lovable, very, very cute, very, very sweet. She's a sweet little girl. She is, uh, also I should have mentioned this, she's five and a half pounds. Yeah, she's five and a half about. I give her, now because I got her from a breeder, um, <clears throat> I didn't get any papers or anything with her. She is, I believe she may be a little inbred. I don't know, this could just be, I've never had any small dogs that were missing teeth before. <laughs> but um, I'm not gonna open her mouth. Maybe I'll try to insert a picture if I can get. She's missing like a couple of front teeth and she's missing like the middle rows of teeth. She has like her front teeth, most of them anyways, and her back back teeth. She's just missing the, the middle teeth. Um, and she's at this point, she should have, have all her adult teeth. So I don't know why she doesn't have them. It could be because she was inbred. It could be because that's just the way it is for her. I don't know. Her diet, because she's missing quite a few teeth, she can't eat like super, obviously because she's so small too, she can't eat super big food. I get her the small, like small breed, small breed chihuahua food. I also get her, um, it's like a frozen raw diet food. They're like little bites as well. And then for treats, I try to get her um, smaller stuff again. And if it's bigger, I have to like crush it up. She cannot eat like uh, the chew, like the hide, raw hides or the bones. She just 
she tries, but it doesn't work. So I don't need to give her that stuff anymore because she just ends up hiding it under the couch. <laughs> and then when you pull the couch out, there's all these like treats and toys and a whole bunch of crap back there. So I just don't, I only try to give her food now that I know that she'll eat. She is, I did, I was able to um, pad train her when I got her. She was about three months, I think, when I got her. So I, uh, I always pad train all my dogs because they're little dogs, they have little bladders, and she does go outside and she will ask for the door to go out, but I just pad train them too because in the winter time she probably, she doesn't really like to go outside because she's so small. So I pad trained her within like three days of getting her. Um, it was pretty easy. You just watch her like a hawk and whenever she's about to squat down anywhere, put her on the pad and tell her that's where you go kind of thing. It was really easy, easy, easy. As far as other training things, she does know like if you tell her to come, she'll come. If you tell her to sit, she can sit. And she also knows how to like give her paw. That's pretty much as far as the tricks go. <laughs> she's, I haven't really tried to teach her anything else. Um, just because, I don't know, I this is all I need from her, you know, sit, stay, and you know, paw. That's that that's good enough for me. I guess another thing I should have mentioned back in the um, temperament is she's uh, also not very yappy. Like she, the only time she actually barks is if she she hears somebody at the door. Uh, if the person comes in, she might bark at them. If she doesn't know them, she might not. And if she hears somebody outside, she might bark a little bit too, or just growl. But for the most part, she's pretty quiet for a Chihuahua, and. Um, I'm really thankful for that too. My other Chihuahua, Palm, was really quiet too, even more quiet than her, didn't bark at all. But um, I don't want a yappy dog. I don't want a jumpy dog. So if you don't want that either, you just kind of have to like train them in the very beginning not to um, develop those habits. And just instinct, like sometimes it's instinct for dogs to do that if you don't want them to do that. Some of her little, uh, like quirks, as I mentioned before, not only does she like to hide her treats and stuff underneath the couch, she also likes to hide her food on the couch, like in the cracks. Um, this is like a small dog thing. I've seen other chihuahuas do it. They like just bring their food and they hide it for later. It must be something to do with like back in the day when they were like wild, I guess, like an instinct thing. Um, probably because they were so small, they had to like hide their food like a fox almost and come back and eat it later so they'd have food later so she does do that uh, another thing that she does is she'll go to her bowl and she'll won't eat at the bowl my other dog did the same thing i don't know they they just she brings her food and she'll like ride, run and hide underneath or beside the couch to eat her food again i'm sure it's something to do with like instinct maybe if she gets far enough away she thinks nobody will take it from her i don't know that's just something that she does she is uh, really good to travel with. Uh, she's been on a plane three times when I've gone back east to see my family. And she's super good, doesn't cry too much. She's cried a little bit in the bag, but like when she's in her bag, because she's so small, you can bring her as a carry-on underneath your seat. I would never travel with a dog and put them underneath the plane. Like I just, I would just leave my dog at home. I, I would never bring them. I would be too scared. But anyways, if, as a dog that's like 20 pounds and under with like Air Canada, you can fly with them underneath your seat for a fee. So she's flown pretty good. She cries sometimes a little bit, but nothing like crazy. Um, for the most part, she hardly cried at all. I think it was just when she had to go to the bathroom. Um, but she she travels really well, doesn't bark, doesn't cry. Some of her nicknames, I call her Angel and I call her Gypsy Girl. So yeah, I think that's everything on Gypsy. Uh, thank you for watching and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.